so let's talk. We are done with uh, mass and inertia. Let's talk a little bit on gravitational view of Earth in general. Okay. So gravity is a, ph a natural phenomenon. It causes all the objects to fall when you drop them. Okay. So uh, and the reason why it drops, right, is because there is a gravitational force acting on the object. Objects move because there is a force on the object. An uh, object drops in on Earth. An uh, object drops because there is a gravitational force acting on it. Why is there a gravitational force? Is because it is in Earth's gravitational field. Okay. So, okay. Gravitational force may be a very very big word, but we most of the time we just call the gravitational force on an object as just its own weight. Okay, I have weight because I am in Earth in Earth's gravitational field. My weight is seventy newtons. All right, seven hundred newtons. Okay, uh, then the gravitational force is also seven hundred newtons. The force Earth acts on me is my weight. Also 700 Newton. Okay. Uh, this one is just a small thing, right? As you will learn, as you will learn in higher physics, gravitational force actually acts is. Okay, stop here. Okay, resume. Uh, we will learn in higher physics that. Gravitational force actually acts by all objects with mass. It just so happens that in everyday life, our mass is not that big as compared to let's say Earth or the Sun. That's why we cannot feel the gravitational force or attraction between let's say two people. Okay. So yeah. The ratio, the ratio of gravitational force to mass. So how much force Earth pulls at you and your own mass is known as the gravitational field strength. This gravitational field strength differs the number right will change if let's say you are on top of a mountain, you are on earth's surface or maybe you are on outer space again. Alright? This number will change. So on, on earth surface, on earth surface is 10. On moon is about 1.6. In outer space, if there is no gravity, then it becomes zero. On a bigger planet, let's say like Saturn or Jupiter, you will find that the gravitational field strength is a much higher number. Okay. And then weight. The force weight. Weight. Weight is the force, remember? Weight is the force that Earth gravitational field exerts on you. And this is the equation. This is the main equation that you'll be using for most questions that comes out in this topic. Okay. Note one very important thing: weight. Weight is a force. Weight is a force. Okay. So all the things that you associate with force, force can accelerate or stop an object. A force can change direction. A force is measured in newtons, a force is a vector. All this all applies to weight. Okay, so let's look at a question that talks a little bit on weight, mass, and the gravitational field. Okay, let's look at example one. Example one, the gravitational field strength on the surface of Earth and on the surface of the Moon is 10 and 1.6. Okay. So, and we know that the object mass is 5 kg on Earth. Question 1, what is the weight of the object on Earth? So, to find the weight, what we do to find the weight, W equals to mg. Okay, what is the mass of the object? 5. What is the G on Earth? 10. That will give me 50 newtons. Uh, okay, wait. 50 newtons. Okay. And that's it. That's your weight. 
that's the weight of the object on earth okay second question what is the mass of the object on the moon remember at the very beginning of the lesson i stress and stress and stress again the mass doesn't change unless the object you know the atomic molecule number change but in this case it didn't right so the mass remains constant throw away 5 kg okay it doesn't change question 3 why is the weight of the object on the moon so I will be using the mass weight W equals to mg again so my mass is still 5 but my g value because it's on the moon is only 1.67 that gives me a very that gives me a value of 8.35 newtons okay so if you compare the weight on earth 50 newtons the weight on the moon is 8.35 okay so the weight of the object is much lesser on moon as compared to on earth